Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fugitoid Ship. That's right, to go along with all the new Dimension X stuff from Playmates Toys, we get a brand new vehicle that comes straight out of the current Nick Toons cartoon series, though it's a little bit smaller than you would typically expect it to be. But nonetheless, let's check it out. As you can see, the Fugitoid ship comes in window box packaging that fully showcases both the vehicle and the included bonus Michelangelo action figure. And when you rotate the box around to the backside, it kind of gives you another image of both the included figure and vehicle and shows you some of the features. Now, when you open this up from the box, there's some very minor assembly required. Essentially, you're just going to need to plug in the missiles and plug in the wings. And once you get that all said and done, this is our Fugitoid ship. And as you can see... It's a bit tiny, uh, so let's get more into that in just a bit, uh, but just so you know, the wings very easy to assemble. They just plug into the side, and as you can see, once you get them in, uh, they're pretty much locked into place. You could probably pry them back out, but they lock in there really nice and tight, which is good, so you don't have to really worry about them falling out or anything like that. And then you got your projectile missiles up here in the front. Now, the overall ship uh, is very lightweight. It's a very light plastic. You can see there's really not a lot to it. It's hollowed out, of course, because we've got a seat on the inside side there, which I'll show you in just a bit. Uh, the overall plastic on this is molded in that sort of pearlized white. Um, it's very similar to the exact same kind of plastic we saw used on the Fugitoid action figure, as well as our Dimension X turtles in their spacesuits. And I do really like that, because as you can see, underneath the lights here, the uh, pearlized white has a really nice glisten to it. It's got a bit of a shine. Uh, I will point out that the wings seem to be a slightly different color white. Uh, honestly, it's standing out a bit more on my camera here with these lights than it does to the actual human eye. So it doesn't really look that far off. It probably just has something to do with the actual construction and why the white is slightly different. But I do really like the pearlized white look. Uh, other than that, though, there's really no other details except up here in the front where we've got some blue on the vents and the missiles and some black on these vents here on either side other than that there is no extra paint of detail which is a bit of a shame uh, you can see we've got this nice little engine in the back here these great little uh, like kind of uh, probably engines here on the bottom too we got a little wheels here um I don't know, it'd be pretty cool if all these little details that are sculpted in had a little bit of extra detail. I know this ship is just a straight white in the cartoon, and that's fine, so this is okay, but there could always be just a little bit something extra to make it stand out more. Now, when you open it up, you can see it just kind of opens up like a little clamshell there. It's very easy to open. It actually kind of clips closed like this, so if you kind of squeeze the sides, that's how you can get it to open up. And on the inside, we just have this bright orange kind of long chair here. we got the little handles. You can kind of rotate those around so that your figure can hold on to them. And then you can see we do have some little stickers that were already in place. They're just kind of like little panels. So we kind of have like a little screen here. Uh, it's got like a little, uh, you know... Uh, navigational device kind of thing on the screen. We got little control panels on either side. We got some sculpted buttons up here with no paint detail, but uh, again, kind of bland on the inside. <laughs> Not a lot of extra detail going on there. So that's the overall ship. Now, I mentioned it's pretty small, right? I mean, you can see my hands here. You can see how little it is. Fugitoid ship in the show is massive. I mean, it holds the entire crew of the four turtles, Fugitoid, April, Casey. It's a big ship. Uh, we've seen some smaller ships in the series too. Um, so so this is kind of like that, I guess. This is definitely just a one-person little, like, mini ship. Um, so if we get the tape measure in here, just so you guys can see what to expect, you can see it measures about uh, a little over 8 inches in length, uh, only stands about 4 inches tall. And to kind of show you what that looks like next to your figures, this is your included Michelangelo. So you can see he's pretty big next to it, right? <laughs> Uh, so let's look more at this included Mikey figure. So it's just another Mikey. We always get like these extra exclusive variants that come with a lot of the vehicles at the $20 price point. And that's exactly what we have here. Uh, but I kind of like this because you can see it's uh, it's called Space Captain Mikey. So he's wearing his Dimension X space outfit minus the helmet. But you can see we've got a newly sculpted head here, which has sort of got like the inside helmet that he'd be wearing underneath the dome helmet. You see a nice little sculpted piece on the bottom there. And it's actually nice nicely painted because we got some black and white details and the nice happy Mikey face but there's some other differences here as well he does still have the belts 
the little thigh pieces, the wrist pieces, and the little claws on the hands. These are the same removable armor pieces that we see on the Dimension X spacesuit turtles, and they're done in that same pearlized white plastic. However, you'll notice that they're actually painted a lot better this time. Uh, on the other figures, they were kind of mostly just a solid color, and uh, the thigh and belt pieces were just a solid orange. On this one, we get lots of little extra color details. You see the pearlized white, got little orange and pink details, nice pink details on the claws there, and then the front of his turtle shell, the chest piece, instead of being like that turtle shell orange or yellowish color we usually see, is done in white with the little Dimension X logo tampoed on there. Um, and we got white wraps down here as well. So the figure itself is mostly the same, you can even see he does have the opening shell, uh, just like the other ones, but I feel like the outfit itself is a little bit better detailed. Uh, now he does come with the same weapons as our Dimension X Mikey, however this time instead of being the cool translucent orange they're just a solid gray and um, just like before with the little claws in his hands it does make it a little hard to hold on to him but I want to do this now it's comparison time because I want to bring in the standard release Dimension X Mikey so you can see the two side by side and really see the differences I mean look at the paint differences here um, and you can see why I actually prefer this one if you have both figures you can do a little bit of mixing and matching and you can kind of make like a, an ultimate version or like a better version like if we were to pull the space helmet off of the standard release and put it on this new version, the Space Captain Mikey. It's a little bit tighter of a push, there you go, over the head because of the new sculpted helmet. But uh, look how good this looks, right? Because now you got that sculpted helmet inside. Uh, the overall helmet here with the chest armor looks much better with this belt and everything. And then, you know, even if you wanted to, you can also transfer over the better looking translucent orange weapons. So, I don't know, that's kind of cool. I actually really like that. So, something to think about. Um, it kind of stinks you have to buy two versions of Mikey to get this cool looking version, but it's also kind of cool to know that we can do that if we want to. Alright, so I want to bring Mikey back over to the ship here, and I'm going to have to take the space helmet off uh, to do that. So now we can show some of the features with the spaceship itself, because we want to actually see a figure on the inside. So we'll just open this back up just like so you can see we just got this long seat here it does have the little dip in it so if you want to put any of your turtles in here uh the shell will fit nicely um now again you can get them to hold on to the little handles here those little claws in his hands will make it a little difficult but you can squeeze those on there you can rotate them however you want to you can get mikey kind of sitting in there he kind of just lays back a little bit but then you can close the ship close you can see it's funny because you got this little windshield here but it basically just looks at his feet <laughs> but there you go it does it's closes completely in there so it's kind of nice that you can completely uh, hide the figure inside the ship and of course i gotta bring fugitoid in right because it's his ship after all the fugitoid ship so you can see fugitoid standing alongside the fugitoid ship you can see the colors match up very nicely between the two and yes if you want to we can actually uh take mikey out of there and we can uh, comfortably seat fugitoid in there as well and you can hold on to the handles and you can close the dome over the top so that way you can have fugitoid flying around in the ship instead if you want to so there you go my friends there is a look at the brand new fugitoid ship from Playmates Toys. Uh, it's a decent little vehicle. Uh, you know, the $20 price point, it's not such a bad deal since you get a figure packed in it with, within it as well. And uh, like I said, I actually really like this Mikey figure. I, it's got a little bit more deco. It's kind of cool to mix and match parts. The ship itself is pretty bare bones. There's not a lot going on there. Um, oh, I guess I should show you guys. Uh, you got the firing mechanisms too. All you gotta do is press the little orange buttons on the side there and uh, boom, you know, you fire off the missiles. And you can see those fire off pretty good. Yeah, that's uh for no reason at all, Fugitoid ship has turned on him! <laughs> but there you go, that's it right there. It's pretty cool, it's tiny, uh, it's kind of the same as like when the turtle sub was released. You know, the turtle sub in the cartoon is huge, the toy we got was small, but still makes for something fun for kids to play with, and it's kind of a neat little display piece to stand with Fugitoid or your space turtles as well. So the Fugitoid ship is on store shelves right now, so happy hunting my friends, and hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss out on a review. Until next time my friends, 